This video will show you how to use Cloud Compare to register your reconstructed living room model to the source ground truth model. So we click the open button and load in the source ground truth model. It's in OBJ format. That'll get loaded in on the right hand side is a 3D model and on the left hand side you can see the OBJ file and then the group of mesh objects inside the model as well as the vertices. And we'll also load in our reconstruction. Our one happens to be in PLI format. So you can see we have the source model in grey and then our reconstruction. We can switch off the normals to get a, a better view of what it actually looks like. And now we need to register these two models together. So we'll switch off visibility of the source model by just unchecking it. And here we'll switch off the visibility of the mesh, but then expand it out and turn on the vertices. These typically render a lot faster, which is useful when you're trying to manipulate the object. So depending on the coordinate system you used in your reconstruction algorithm, you might need to apply an initial transformation to it to make things easier. So if you click on Edit, Apply Transformation, you can enter a 4x4 transformation matrix. And at this point we want to coarsely register this model with the source model. So we'll switch on visualization of the vertices in the source model. Just check those on. Click on your mesh group. Switch off visibility of the mesh and then turn on the whole model again. So now we've got the vertices of the source ground truth model displayed in white and then our own reconstruction in colour. So to register these two sets of 3D points together you just select the two vertices you're holding down control and clicking and then choose the align to clouds by picking equivalent point pairs function. We want the reference model to be the uh, source ground truth data so we'll swap these and our own reconstruction should be in red, so it should be the part of the model that's going to be aligned. Now we just pick point pairs between the two. Um, you need four altogether, I found, depending on how drastically misaligned the models are. Usually the top of the lamp is a good choice. Um, as well as that, the centre of the couch. maybe the top corner of one of the cushions and then also one of the corners of the painting which is slightly more difficult to find in the source model. So once you've picked those four sets of correspondences select the align button and you'll see we've got now a course registration between these two models. Click the check button, it'll give you the final root mean squared error of the alignment and the final transformation matrix. Now we want to um, do a fine registration between the, the model and the reconstruction. In order to do that we must sample vertices on the surface of the model. So we can switch off our reconstruction for now. Uh, we highlight the mesh group here and click the sample points on mesh function. Uh, we typically use 10 million vertices on the surface so it'll take some time to sample and eventually it will be displayed on the right hand side. Depending on the speed of your machine this might take a few seconds. Okay, So they've appeared now. I can switch off the source model and if we zoom in here we can see this is actually a dense point cloud sampled from the original model. So to register this dense model together with our own reconstruction we highlight the two sets of vertices again and we select this function which finally registers roughly aligned entities together. Again we want the model to be the original source model so it should be yellow and don't forget to enable for this point removal. So once it's complete you'll get the root mean squared error at the bottom and the final transformation matrix. You can switch off the sampled uh, vertices
display our own model again and we can also switch on the original model. From here we can actually compute the distance between our reconstruction and the mesh model just by highlighting our registered vertices and the mesh group of the source model and clicking the compute cloud mesh distance. I want to switch off sign distances, leave on multi-threading and then click compute. And now when you select our vertices they have a new scalar field which is essentially the distance from each vertex to the closest point on the source ground truth model. It's also kind of displayed as a heat map here. And we can also click to see a histogram of the distances. At this point we want to actually save these out to for further computing statistics on. We can just highlight the vertices, click save. We can just say living room dot text. Make sure you select ASCII format hit save. Do you want a space separator? The order doesn't exactly matter and make sure you check both of these options for columns title and number of points. Corners precision and scalar precision 8 and 6 are typically good values. So this will get written out to your hard drive. Again depending on the number of vertices and the speed of your hard drive this could take some time. And from this point we can then use the provided Python file to compute information about the quality of the reconstruction. So once you've downloaded the script to compute statistics you just run it with Python and then provide the saved file from Cloud Compare as the first argument. Runtime again depends on the speed of your hard drive, the number of vertices. Once it's completed it'll print out the number of vertices, the mean for text to model distance, uh, the median, standard deviation, minimum and maximum.